And now, with regards to the pillars of nikah, what are they? Firstly, the husband, meaning the groom, and the wife or the bride, and then the male guardian of the woman, and then two witnesses. Uh, some people, they ask me, I approached the father of the woman, and I proposed to her, and then after this, the father of the girl, he did not agree. And my reply is that the wali, the male guardian of the woman, he has to agree because this is a rukun, this is a fundamental pillar of the nikah. But if he says that he's a non-Muslim and he does not pray, is it only now he became a non-Muslim only because he did not accept your proposal? The only reason why now he has all of a sudden decided that her father is a non-Muslim because he doesn't pray salah, because he wants to abolish his guardianship over her. And this is how people work nowadays. So if he says the father is a non-Muslim because he doesn't pray, well, how did you react? He says, well, then I went to her brother and I proposed and even her brother rejected the proposal. Then I found out that he's also a non-Muslim. And then what did you do? And then he said, I approached somebody walking on the street. Come over here. Become the wali of this woman and marry her off to me. And he says, look, it's permitted for you to be the wali. Just marry her off. And he says, khalas, I give you my permission. And then he married her. And then after this, there was a divorce. And now the woman doesn't have a wali. So it isn't done in this manner, meaning any person can become a wali. Because this is the sharia. And this nikah, this nikah can only be done with the express permission of the wali. And that the aqd or the contract, it is recorded. He said, no, I don't want to record the, uh, the, the contract. Because you don't know how the system works here. Let's say you don't know the system here because if I was to register the marriage, every day she'll be threatening me that if you do something to me, half of the house, half of the wealth, it's all mine. But whoever fears Allah, Allah will make an opening for him. And nowadays, the statistics are showing us that many young people, they are reaching 34 years and they are not married. So anyway, we mentioned the arkan or the pillars of a nikah and this is sufficient so the pillars of the nikah arkan arkan nikah no. uh, so the pillars of the nikah are the bride so with regards to the pillars of the nikah then it's, it is firstly a proposal from the man and then the acceptance from the woman and her wali and then the presence of the two witnesses and that this is something which is recorded